Oh, welcome to Sports Friday. You know, the Nature Boy is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. But the 16-time world champion was down and almost out just a week ago after a serious medical scare. In his first TV interview since getting out of the hospital, Ric Flair spoke with our Adam Murphy about his near-death experience. Diamonds are forever. So is the Nature Boy. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> in Ric Flair fashion, the legendary wrestler is back on his feet after beating a brush with death caused by an irregular heartbeat. I'm on echo alert. So as soon as it hits 50, I can have a cold middle of night. <laughs> Maybe three more weeks. Joking now, it was no joke one week ago when the 70-year-old was fighting for his life in the hospital. He had surgery to replace a pacemaker and remove a blood clot, causing a fan frenzy online. And I think to myself, God, why, he, uh, <laughs> why didn't we buy YouTube when it was coming on? <laughs> More crap on me on YouTube. It's the second close call for the nature boy who survived a bout with obstructed bowels two years ago, which forced him into a coma and nearly shut down his organs. All I did was think about dying. Every step you take when you've been that close, and I would like, I was going out of my way to make people that I cared about understand how much I cared about them. It's a different type of emotion than we've become accustomed to from Flair. I'm Ric Flair, and when you want me to bring your program up, I'm here to do it. So the Nature Boy is a changed man now. Yeah, he is, very much so. But nobody believes it. Flair, chop it and who would when the world champion tells you he has no plans to scale back his over-the-top lifestyle? I can sit at a bar and watch TV and drink from 11 in the morning to 11 at night. <laughs> and I have. I got a regular, I got a rotation. <laughs> and I can make friends at a bartender just like that. Woo! Woo! Perhaps his best friend through it all is his wife, Wendy Barlow, who he credits for saving his life. I can't lie to her. That's the, that's the handicap. When you can't lie to a woman and you're Ric Flair, that's... <laughs> when Ric Flair's in town, showtime! He said it's the best he's felt in a decade, and this son of a gun isn't slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, I got, woo! I got things to do, man. I got to meet Charles Barkley. I won't say where, but he said, when you get well, man, I'll meet you downtown. <laughs> Charles, I'm on my way, brother. <laughs> he is the greatest. Some would argue that Flair is the greatest, and his latest stint in the hospital is a costly one. He referred to himself as the $1.8 million man after all the medical procedures he endured. He also thanked his many fans who have sent him well wishes. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Adam. You know, Ric Flair is a one-of-a-kind personality. Every pro athlete I run into knows Flair, and when his name is mentioned, we always get a woo! Of course, his, most voices don't crack like that. Dan Quinn had him speak to the Falcons. Mark Richt had him speak to the dogs. I'm glad Rick Claire is okay. He is a one-of-a-kind entertainer.